This video is going to be short and simple. Decided to throw a curveball into my original plans. And yeah, I'm getting really ambitious. <laughs> Hey lovely people, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be continuing our home decor remodeling series. If you haven't already seen all the other parts of the house that I've already made over, you should definitely check those videos out. Now that I already got my free cabinets and we have our layout, which you would have already seen in the last video, we laid out our cabinets, we disinfected everything, we clean them, they're installed, they're ready to go to be prepped and painted. But now I'm thinking to myself, well, I really would love to have a nook. I really want to have a nook area to add more extra seating and just to have like a breakfast section. But I don't have enough cabinets for that, nor do I want to go buy them. And just in case you're not sure what a nook is is basically a little section where in your house you can have like a breakfast but it's not your actual dining room area if that makes sense but yeah it's very accessible to the kitchen right off the kitchen or in the kitchen and there's so many ways you can design the nook and I don't know exactly how I'm gonna design it but I know it's gonna be small and minimal because obviously my space is small I had this old coffee table that I've had for years I've had it for a while and that was also um, a hand-me-down that I've had for years as well and that coffee table has been revamped, resurfaced, restained but it's such a solid coffee table. I mean like it's heavy and I did not want to get rid of it but I also knew that I didn't want it in the living room anymore because as you guys know I redid my living room and it was more my living room is more of a minimalistic clean line simple kind of vibe that I have going on throughout the house and that coffee table came in handy at a time when I had a country chic type of theme that I had years ago before I met my husband and now it's no longer fitting into a theme because it's bulky it's heavy and our space is smaller I wanted to get rid of it but I didn't want to get rid of it because it's such great quality so I had an idea and I was like hmm what if I use this coffee table to make it my bench in the nook I don't know guys I'm telling you I had the aha moment I'm telling you the table the coffee table is solid it's heavy I mean like it's been around for a year so that should say it all so trust me when I tell you to make it into a bench know that it's really strong and sturdy because I've sat on it it's been sat on many years and it's still solid it's just that the paint and the finish is totally different it's like a brown off color that is not going to go with the kitchen so i figured well since i'm going to paint my kitchen i need to make a decision now am i going to keep it as a coffee table or am i going to convert it into a bench into our new nook so i made a split decision saying you know what i'm going to go for it and take the risk of it looking kind of off and you know my husband was like you think that's going to work that's that's too big for that corner because if you guys remember towards the window I have the kitchen going all the way down which is a galley kitchen sorry and then on the right hand side there was like a blank space an empty space and I wanted to use the kitchen space to the fullest and really maximize the amount of space that I have to add more seating so I was like you know what let me try and see if it'll fit and guys I pushed the coffee table to that corner and it fits it exactly like I mean exactly so I was like ah! nook destination goals nook dreams are in the horizon I see the future of a nook in our kitchen now we just need to make it match with the rest of the kitchen but guess what since I'm painting the kitchen anyways it doesn't matter because I'm going to paint the cabinets and I'm going to paint the nook and they all gonna be the same color so I don't have to worry about it I just need to make sure that when we do get handles for the kitchen cabinet will match it so it can look 
like one piece like it actually came together but guess what remember what I told you I want to get my cake and eat it too so of course all these things that I have in my mind I want to make it work in my space I don't care if I have a small space I want all the goodies and the benefits of a bigger space of a bigger home why can't I have it in my smaller condo yes we can have it and save money and that's what I'm gonna do if we have to downsize the little ideas to make it work in our space that's what we're gonna do so therefore I'm going to have my nook and yeah so we're gonna see how it turns out so guys I added an extra project into the kitchen project and I'm excited I'm really excited about this nook so guys there you go I'm having a nook and I'm excited a nook guys like think about it I have my bench area I just need to find a cushion I just need to find pillows and just a little coffee table to go with it and bada bing bada boom this is all I have in my vision right now I don't know how exactly it's gonna come together but that's what I see in my mind and trust me guys it will work if we got to go hustle around and look for pillows and make our own pillows to make this nook to make this vision come together that's what it's gonna be but for now let's just first worry about painting everything and making sure it look uniform then we'll get into decorating and designing the look later down the line after I get this painting out the way so stay tuned I don't want to wait until next week like late next week to finally post it I'm gonna get that out the way come Sunday or Monday so that way you guys don't have to be so antsy about how the colors and how it turned out at least you'll get to see the finished product painted cabinets and the nook and I have pictures for you guys to see I couldn't do the video while I was painting because I was too stressed and the fumes is just crazy so if you guys are excited like I'm excited then make sure you like comment subscribe because guys these videos take time to make and I know you guys are probably anti like where is the video where is the final um look but it takes time and I know you guys are going to ask me every single information where did you get the paint how did you do this how did you do that so to avoid that that's why I'm breaking down this kitchen remodeling series into multiple videos so when you finally see it all together you already have the references from the different videos on how I came about getting to that point and throughout the whole process so that way when you're ready to make over your kitchen and remodel your kitchen and change the paint give it a refresh you have some kind of videos to kind of fall back on the whole process that I took so whoo and with that said we're gonna do it while saving money because we're gonna be painting these cabinets ourselves or you can hire somebody but that's gonna cost you two thousand dollars go ahead no problem no shade no hate spend the money if you want or if you can but remember i'm all about saving money keeping your wallet tight keeping your mind right and keeping your home beautiful and that's my main goal here but yeah guys if you guys are excited to see what happens next please like comment subscribe and share and see you on the next video